Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do extra thick cut pork steaks. We're gonna get these things on the grill, except we're gonna slow them down at first, get some color on them. Then we're gonna get them tender and we're gonna sear them off at the end with a good vinegar sauce. It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna have that good rub flavor on the outside. Let's get to cooking. So today I've got four extra thick cut pork steaks. I went to my buddy Brad's butcher shop here in South Haven and I told him I wanted some inch and a quarter pork steaks. And with pork steaks, all it is is a cross section of a Boston butt. You can see the blade bone in some of these, the front, that area would be your money muscle. Still got the fat cap on them. I'm gonna cook that down. That fat's gonna be soft. It's gonna, that false cap meat underneath there is gonna be excellent. But I like them thick like this. You know, if you wanna cut them thin, that's fine. They're gonna cook a lot faster. But we're gonna slow these down. We're gonna cook them where they're tender enough they just melt in your mouth. The first thing we're gonna do is get some seasoning on the outside. And I'm just going with that salt, pepper, garlic layer that's just a good savory note that's great on anything. My AP's perfect for it. Hey, if you got your own all-purpose seasoning, go right ahead and use that. You just wanna put something on there that's gonna taste good. And that's what salt, pepper, and garlic does. I'm gonna flip them over and get them on both sides of these thick cut steaks. So now you wanna come in with a good barbecue rub. And hey, you can use any one you like. Once again, I'm using my rub, the barbecue rub. It's got beautiful color. You know it tastes good on pork. You wanna make sure we get the edges. Now we're just gonna let these pork steaks hang out here on the cutting board in that seasoning, in that rub, and let them come up to outside temperature plenty of time to get the grill fired up. I've got some Royal Oak charcoal in a chimney with a couple wax cubes going. I'm using my PK360 today for this cook, but you can do it on any grill. Just set it up the same way I do. When those coals get hot, spread them out in the PK and leave enough room in the middle for some unlit coals. That's gonna produce even heat. Get your rack in place, put a couple pieces of cherry wood or your favorite wood on there for some smoke. And today I'm gonna be cooking on a raised rack, which is gonna give me a little more room. I'm not searing these pork steaks. We're gonna slow them down a little bit. Close the lid, just let that grill stabilize. We'll be ready to cook. So I got the PK good and hot. It's time to get these pork steaks on our cooking rack. You can hear it sizzle when I put them on. Perfect for holding four of these big thick cut pork steaks. I'm just going right on that rack. Get the lid closed, let them get happy in that smoke. And we're gonna check on them here in a little while. What we're trying to do at this stage is just get some color on these pork steaks. We're not really worried about temperature. We're not worried about time. I am just wanna get them even cooked on both sides. Then I'm gonna show you how I get them tender. Y'all keep watching. All right, it's been about 25 minutes. I know these pork steaks gotta be about ready to flip. Man, they look good on that side. See where they're sweating a little bit, that rub's cooked down on them. I'm just gonna use some tongs Carefully flip these dudes over. Oh yeah, check that out. Woo! It's live action right there. All right, now we got them flipped. We're just gonna get the lid closed and let them cook on this other side for a little while. We'll be back in here just a little bit to check on them. All right, the second side's been down for about 15 minutes, but I'm liking the color that we have on these pork steaks. This is where we're gonna get them tender. I'm just gonna take them up. We're gonna go over to the cutting board. We're gonna get them wrapped up individually, and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna get them tender. So I'm just taking one of the pork steaks. I've got some aluminum foil pulled off here. I'm gonna put a couple pats of just regular butter on top of it and some honey. We're just gonna make these things extra rich now. You don't have to put a whole lot. Just get a good drizzle over the top. Then we're gonna wrap each one up. That's gonna trap in that steam. It's gonna help them cook even. It's gonna break these pork steaks down. A lot like cooking ribs or cooking a pork butt. We've got them all wrapped up. Do the same thing to the next one. Right on the fall, a couple pats of real butter. A little drizzle of honey. Gotta have that honey for the money, you know that. All right, we're gonna just put these pork steaks right back on our rack. Doesn't matter if they're in the same spot or not. We're just getting them tender, all there is to it. Get the lid closed, and we're gonna check these here in a little while. What I'm wanting to do now is just break down inside that aluminum foil. Trap all that heat in there, render that fat in those pork steaks, get them tender. We're taking them up pretty high internal. They're gonna be, you know, 190 plus. That's where I want them. I want them to be soft. Then we're gonna sear them off at the end, get some good color on the outside, caramelize some of this new vinegar sauce I got over the top. It's gonna to be awesome. Y'all stick around. All right, you can hear my chef alarm going off. That's telling me that we've reached internal temperature. I just stuck a probe in one of these. I just kinda of wanted to keep an eye on it. It's been about 20, 25 minutes total in the full. I know they're tender. We're, you know, we're reaching 195 area, that's perfect for these pork steaks. I'm gonna get a platter and we're gonna take them off here. We're gonna go over to the cutting board and we're gonna show you how we're gonna unwrap them and get them ready to finish up. Gotta do a little bit of rearranging 
because now I'm going to put on my grill grate so I can sear these pork steaks. Wear some hot gloves because this rack is hot. I'm just moving it to the ground for a second. I'm just adding my grill grates right back on the pit. We're going to give these a few minutes. By the time we get those ready, they'll be nice and hot, ready to sear off the outside. Just make sure those vents are wide open. Let's go to the cutting board for a second. Now let's see what these pork steaks look like after we had them in that butter and honey. I'm just going to kind of ease some of this honey and butter off of it. And it's okay if they sit there. I'm going to glaze them a little bit. And what I'm using today is my vinegar sauce. And this is just a sweet, spicy, tangy sauce that's going to really go great with pork steaks on the outside. Just pour a little on and we're going to brush it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to both sides. More vinegar sauce, brush it on. If we need to add a little more on the grill as they're searing, we can do that too. And just knock this out for the rest of these pork steaks. All right, those grill grates ought to be good and hot. Now we're just gonna get these pork steaks right on them. Listen to that sizzle, baby. Oh yeah. There ain't no right or wrong way to do this. Let's get them right on there. We'll let them go a couple minutes, put a little twist on them. We're going to flip them, do the same thing. It's going to happen quick. It ain't going to take too long. Might brush a little more sauce on them here in a second, too. But let that first side get going. Get the lid closed. And let them cook. All right, we've had these pork steaks on a couple more minutes searing here. Now I'm just going to come in, give them a little twist action. We need a couple more minutes, and we'll be ready to flip them over. All right, it's been two minutes. We're going to get our flip on, get this backside glazed a little. These need to be moved a little bit closer to the fire. I'll go ahead and hit them with a little more of that vinegar sauce. Let it caramelize on a little bit. Ooh, it looks good. Let's get the lid shut down on this side. Get some char going on that back side too. These are gonna be beautiful. Just a few more minutes, we'll be ready to try them. I can't wait. So let's flip these dudes back over, see if we got a little mark on this side. Oh yeah, we're getting, we're getting some grill action now. Caramelize up, that's what I want to see. I know these need one more little twist here. Let's get the lid closed here. Set that timer for two more minutes. It's gonna be pork steak time. I'm ready. Right that last two minutes, I'm ready to get these pork steaks off. I know they look good. Ooh, I'm just gonna move them to the platter here. Grill grate's doing its job. That's what I call pork steaks, extra thick. Look at that char on the outside, you can't beat that. Let's get them over to the platter so I can cut into one. All right, man, this is the pork steak final product. You can see all that caramelization on the top. Got those good grill marks on them. These pork steaks are gonna be outstanding. Real quick before I try one, they're resting just a minute. Let's talk about what we did. I started with some super thick cut pork steaks. Inch and a quarter is what I told the butcher. We seasoned them up, we got that AP rub, the barbecue rub, use your favorite seasons there. But get them on a grill and get them away from the heat a little bit because we wanna just get some smoke going first. I put some cherry wood on those hot coals. You can put whatever you like, just get some smoke on them. They need about an hour, then we wrapped them up. A little bit of butter, a little bit of honey for the money. Let them go about 30 minutes until they got tender. Our internal temperature was up in the 195 range. That's where you want them so they're nice and done. That fat's been rendered. Then we glazed them with this vinegar sauce. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's got all this flavor. That went on the outside and we just kind of did our twist, two minutes twist, flipped them. Same thing on those hot searing racks. We moved them closer to the fire and this is what we got. Now I'm gonna take this one over here and cut it up. It looks, it's got my name all on it. Oh man, there's the cut. You can see the juice still in it. I'm gonna cut some bites out of this one because I'm fixing to get after it. It's tender. I mean, you can just cut with a fork. You don't even need this knife, really. I mean, check this out. That's tender. And that's all day right there. What I'm gonna do just drizzle just a little bit more of this vinegar sauce over the top. I love the way this spicy, tangy vinegar sauce goes. It's gonna give me something to dip into. Get one of these bites right here. Get a little char to it. Oh man. Pork steak's awesome. That's all I got to say about that. When you get all the flavors, the seasonings from that AP, that rub we put on it, let it cook, got some smoke on them. But then they've got the sweet and the tanginess from that vinegar sauce, the char from being down close on those hot grill grates. Hey, you gotta try pork steaks this way. 
they are fantastic. You're gonna love them, I promise you. And a lot of people think you just gotta pull it pork. You can get a cut of steaks and serve it just like this. Mm. Oh, I especially love the way the fat caramelizes on the outside. It kind of gets crispy. It's great. It's really great. Hey, thanks for checking us out today at How to Barbecue Right. Subscribe to our channel. It'll let you know when we send out new videos. We try to put them out all year long. You can send us questions and comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love those. We try to answer them all. We'll see you guys next time.